you know what, what the heck, let's open it to show you the wand. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, hope everyone is doing well. In today's video I have a makeup haul. So I have a bunch of drugstore makeup with two high-end makeup. So if you love hauls and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up. If you like it, it will mean the world to me. Now let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the drugstore makeup and leave the two items, the high-end items till the end. And I'm very excited to try these products. So the first thing from the drugstore, I got the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face Sunscreen. I love this sunscreen for your face. It hydrates your face so nicely. It doesn't leave that white cast residue on your face. It doesn't clog pores, it's oil free, ultra lightweight and non-greasy. And you get a lot in this package and this works very nice on my face. That's the first product from the drugstore. Now let's talk about a couple brushes here and this is actually from the dollar store. So. These two brushes are by, this is by e.l.f. and this is by Wet n Wild and I don't have an angled eyeliner brush. Can you imagine? So I found this at the dollar store. This is what it looks like. This is the e.l.f. one. It is a very pointy tip. These are so great to use with any type of colorful gel liners and it's very precise and it's kind of hard but a very soft top of the tip so the this is the elf one and it's called the angled eyeliner brush i got two of them as you can see because i don't have any and now here's the wet and wild one i found this to be very cute so this is a large concealer brush but of course you can use it not just for concealer you can use it to apply eyeshadow and again this was a dollar from the dollar store and it's by wet and wild and look at this cute brush i don't know if you can see because it's white it has pink and white top and look at this brush here it has a perfect spot to put your finger in the middle when you apply your concealer it's very nice ergonomically created here so i really love that about this one now next what i got from the drugstore is the physician's formula butter blush and this is in the shade beachy peach i love physician's formula and i have the i'll show you what the packaging looks like looks like this and I have their butter bronzers and I don't have their blush so I wanted to give it a try and see and I love their packaging this is so pretty now look at this oh my god look at those colors the pinks and the greens and the lime yellow so this is in beachy peach muru muru butter blush and I have their you can see their beautiful colors. I have their Physicians Formula bronzer, so you can see the size difference. The blush is much smaller than the bronzer. And when we open it up, it, let's see. Of course it have this, has that nice, beautiful smell that the Physician Formula products has. This is what the product looks like inside. And then on the bottom, of course, we have a mirror and their regular brush. On one side, it's teal, on the other is pink and purple, but it's a sponge. So it's not a brush, it's a sponge. It's kind of like a beauty blender type of um, sponge. So I love this. I'm gonna give it a try, I can't wait. This is the cutest packaging ever. I love this. Now next from the drugstore, I bought the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I've seen this all over YouTube and if you have dry skin, this gives you a glowy, beautiful look. So I will have to try it. I can talk for myself, but that's the reviews I've seen on. This is a lasting glow, never dull, never greasy, it says on the packaging radiant finish and it's up to 24 hour wear this is what it looks like and i got mine in the shade 201 classic ivory so i can't wait to try this foundation i love glowy natural looking foundations those are my favorites love l'oreal foundations Ooh, i bought this co now this is for the canadians because i believe co is only in canada at shoppers drug mart and i bought this soft touch foam sleep mask and it comes with earbuds but i'm not gonna use the earbuds but it's mostly for the face mask so this is good for traveling if you travel but this is also good when you go to sleep and this is what the mask looks like 
so it looks like two like a pair of sunglasses and it's very very soft and it comes with this elastic that you can also make it smaller or larger depending on your head size and I'm excited to use this because it's very lightweight and very helpful with your sleep at night so yeah I wanted to show you guys this one as well next what I got from the drugstore is the essence stay lip liner it's a waterproof lip liner looks like this and this is in the shade I am shukitil shukitil this is what it looks like so I'm gonna open it and show you guys on the hand. It's kind of like a burgundy type of red. It's so buttery and soft, so I love it, but I can't use it today because I have pink lips. But I wanted to have more of a darker one because then you can use, you can outline your lips with a dark one and inside you can use a lighter one and it, then it gives that plump um, effect on your lips so yeah I bought this one from the drugstore by Essence now next since we are talking about Essence I wanted to give this a try the Essence Lash Princess Mascara look how beautiful this is it's a black mascara and it's a uh, says that it's a false lush effect mascara so I'm excited to try this I'm not gonna open it now I'm sure you guys have seen it already on YouTube but you know what what the heck let's open it to show you the wand Ooh, so okay it's a pretty big wand and it's not a rubbery one so why would mascara have a smell but yeah this is so pretty so i can't wait to try this because i don't have a mascara by essence and i've seen it all over youtube and i wanted to give it a try as well and i dropped it so here's another one by co beauty and this is the lip oil in coconut now look at that color it's the color that attracted me to it and it has a cute coconut right here and it's a lip oil so you know what you can't go wrong with lip oils because your lips need hydration as well so this is what the dofu applicator looks like it is very soft on the lips so I'm excited to try this I love lip oils and that effect that it gives to the lips whether you have lipstick or you just apply it to your bare lips if you're lazy to apply lipstick just grab a lip oil and it moisturizes your lips and it gives it a nice glowy effect to your lips so I love it again this is by Co Beauty now here is my final product from the drugstore and this is the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in the shade 05 fair now I'm so happy to have this in my collection this packaging reminds me of the Huda Beauty powder uh, it's a bit too expensive from Sephora so I went ahead with the drugstore version one so it opens up like this and it has at the top the sifter as you can see but I think yeah it has a protective shield so we can take that off because we're gonna be using this So it has this protective shield on top and there's the sifter that the product comes out so I'm excited to use this powder on my face I've heard really good things about it let's see so it's a mineral based formula it helps control shine and smooth skin's texture it's very lightweight and it gives you a translucent coverage it's a fresh natural look and can be used alone or over foundation so if you don't want to apply your foundation if you're in a rush go ahead just use this all over your face and it gives you that nice skin glass skin type of look my favorite powder and I have dry skin is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless powder I love this powder I'm wearing on my face today it gives it a nice flawless look without drying your skin so this is the powder that I'm always going to gravitate towards but I would love to give this a try from the drugstore it's affordable so I can't wait to use it in my next video now that you stayed up to this point let me know down in the comments below what was your most favorite product you saw in today's makeup haul and let's get into the two things I bought from Sephora and again this were on sale so I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Alisa Edwards palette look at this beautiful packaging I love it so look how this one looks so this was 
$30 from $60 Canadian. So that's a great deal for an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And of course, when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It comes with a mirror. Here's the cover for the shades. And this is what the shades look like. <gasps> like, aren't they gorgeous? I love it that it comes with a black, so you can create eyeliners. It comes with a very white light color so that you can create inner corner and under the brow bone highlighter and of course it comes with some mattes and some shimmers and it has beautiful nude colors and a lot of pop of colors aren't they beautiful i can't wait to do a tutorial with this one and of course i got the riviera anastasia beverly hills palette <sighs> this is so beautiful as well 30 dollars so from $60 to $30, I want to own everything. Oh my God, look at this. This is actual material. This is made out of material. This is so beautiful. Can't wait to use it. It's so pretty. So again, I'm going to take this protective sheet off and this is what the palette looks like. Comes with a mirror and here are the shades. Look at those shades. So again, I love that it has a looks like the top part is all shimmers the bottom is all matte so this is a very easy palette to use you can just use this and this together the next row together and create a look with just the two shades that's a great idea i love it i love that it has a light color and this is the darkest color that you can use but it is just beautiful i can't wait to use it like look at those <sighs> Okay, I have to give you some swatches here. So let's swatch this row here. Ooh. And this is the Mediterranean. Now look at those colors. They're so pigmented. I barely put my finger in. Now let me tell you what they are. Now this one right here is Mediterranean. This is Inheritance. This is Seaside. And this is Palermo. These are so buttery. This is one of the best palettes I think I've had by her. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. So I've added this one's right here. This is Yacht and this is Seychelles. Look at those colors. Aren't they beautiful? I love them. I'm going to go into the Alisa Edwards palette and I'll swatch all those a couple of pop of colors right here on the other hand. Ooh, look at that. Look at that purple. That's a perfect purple. Let me try this blue one. Okay, so here's the purple. <gasps> here's this nice blue and this is a matte blue as you can see. It's not a shimmery one. Let add more so you guys can see the color better. And this is a shimmery pink. Ooh. And this is a beautiful gold color. Look at this. So the purple one this is called DDG. This is called Dream It right here. This is Texas Made. And this is Inspire, this gold one right here. So look at this. They're so beautiful. I love them. So yeah, this is my haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I love haul videos. I love seeing new makeup that people enjoy and buy. I hope you guys liked it. So if you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. It will mean the world to me and I will see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.